Let's start with installing the program. I personally go through learnmmd.com because they have a ton of learning resources. These are all categories on the right side. And it has a pretty helpful download section. Now we're going to go to the download section and keep scrolling down until we see MMM. There we go. Miku Miku Moving. So I click on this pick and then we'll see that the site has moved. My project site. Now this is usually where the download section is but also don't ignore these links on the left because they have surprisingly good despite being old but they have pretty good uh, tutorials that have pictures and everything. Now back to this. This right here, if you have Steam installed, it usually installs all these different redistributable packages and everything, so you don't really have to worry about this. And these are some nice effects that they provide on the side. Okay, now the download. All you gotta do is click download. I mean, easy. And then boom, there it is. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do that. Uh, another thing, if you head to my DeviantArt channel, I do have shader presets for uh, shader stuff and effects uh, on top of this and they're not stock I did actually change the coding underneath to be custom to what I do so all you have to do is just plug it in and start working now let's open it up now I just opened up a brand new uh, Mika Mika moving uh, set up so I'm starting just like you and this hurts my eyes a ton so let's go to settings and let's start changing a few things first let's fix the, the theme because you know eyes I personally love the dark skin because look at that that looks so professional and for screen I personally set this to usual HD, which is 1920 by 1080. 4K if you want to blow out your computer. I'm kidding. Okay, 60 FPS, that's fine. Clip. This is for um, when the camera gets close to an object. Uh, and, like, it's kind of like wall clipping. Seeing through a wall that's, like, right in front of you. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, MIP map and asterisk tropic texture filtering these are all to blend or smoothen out uh, textures in the distance so they aren't jagged I haven't really noticed the difference too much though so I, I just have them on just in case now lastly I have bone handle set to advanced and I will show you the difference in a moment your first goal with any program is to get used to it get used to the flow of how um, it works and the best way to do that is to click every single button and see what it does like the first thing I wanted to do was get rid of this absolutely horrid white background and black 